Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome to another question and answer session for MRCS exam. The question a 56 years old man is undergoing a superficial parotidectomy for a pleomorphic adenoma. During the dissection of the parotid, which of the following structure will be encountered lying most superficially? So it is uh, one of the most important questions for MRCS exam that a person is going superficial parotidectomy due to pilomorphic adenoma during this procedure which structure will encounter most superficially here the options options are facial nerve external carotid artery occipital artery maxillary artery and retromandibular vein so we have to find out one of the option which is lies most superficially so here in this picture we can see this is the parotid gland here this is submandibular gland and subdural gland and within the parotid gland substance we can see a nerve and it gives rise five terminal branches and this nerve is the facial nerve so there is a presence of injury of the facial nerve during the superficial parotidectomy due to pleomorphic adenoma and this picture here we can see this is the parotid gland posteriorly it is the anteriorly it is the ramus of the mandible and posteriorly the other structure and we can see here within this parotid gland a nerve going through the parotid gland substances and this nerve is the facial nerve so during the operation of this parotid gland there is every sense of injury of the facial nerve and other structures such as here you can see internal carotid artery internal jugular vein jugulodigastric nodes and cranial nerve 9 10 11 12 they lies more more medial immediately very close to the midline so the chance of injury of the substances is or uh, this structure is very very less but facial nerve as it is lo located within the parotid gland substances this is a, has the every sense of the injury and here another structure we can see here this is the parotid gland and a nerve which lies more more superficially than facial nerve and here we can see it located over this parotid gland and this nerve is the great auricular nerve so uh, in the question if a greater auricular nerve present then the answer will be great auricular nerve not the facial nerve so in this picture we can see this is the parotid gland and here we can see two nerve one is the great auricular nerve this great auricular nerve it lies superficial to the parotid gland that the branches of the facial nerve such as temporal zygomatic buccal marginal mandibular and cervical they located within the gland substances so the great auricular nerve it lies the most superficial regarding the parotid gland then the facial nerve but in the option if there is no great auricular nerve in this fact facial nerve will be the answer so here our final answer is the facial nerve because the facial nerve it lies within the parotid gland substances so during the superficial parotidectomy due to pleomorphic adenoma facial nerve may be get damaged but if there is the uh, great auricular nerve present in the option then answer will be great auricular nerve other options such as the external carotid artery external carotid artery lies more more later medially occipital artery occipital artery it lies in the occipital region not in this region maxillary artery it is not true and retromandibular vein they lies more deep so our answer is the facial thank you all